today we're on board the Sportsman 251, which has a factory fitted NSS Evo 2 dual screen system and is equipped with Teleflex Optimus steering and has an SG05 Optimus autopilot processor installed. What we're going to do today is go through the steps that are necessary to uh, set up and commission the autopilot so that it's functional for offshore use. Okay, so, you know, we're out on board the boat, we're getting set to uh, commission the autopilot. The first step of this process is to go to the home page, which you learned back in one of the earlier tutorials, uh, go to the settings page, then scroll down until you see network, go to device list. The device list is all um, parts that are hooked up onto the NEMA 2000 backbone. We need to scroll down and ensure that both the compass for the autopilot and the SG05 EVC pilot gateway are hooked up on the network successfully. And as you can see, we have the compass and we have the SG05 gateway. So we know we have active power going to both components. So we are, the next step will be to highlight the compass and we're going to go through the steps of how to calibrate the compass. You can see after I've highlighted the compass, I've opened up a launch page that gives me an option to configure or calibrate. In this case, we need to calibrate. Um, so that will open up another launch page that uh, gives us some instruction on what to do. Uh, the calibration steps for the compass is, the first step is to press calibrate. The second step is start rotating the vessel and I always take it in a starboard turn, a slow starboard turn, complete 390 degrees rotation and it will be a very slow rate of turn, um, two, to, two to three degrees per second. So I'm going to hit the calibration button and start the calibration process. Okay, so to start that starboard turn, just slow and maintain that two to three degrees turn. So you can see your rate of turn here is displayed and your heading is displayed. The rate of turn should not exceed, exceed two to three degrees. So it's very intuitive, very easy. Um, sometimes takes a few minutes, sometimes takes a little longer depending on sea conditions. Okay. So we now have a message that flashed up on the screen that say the calibration has successfully been completed. Another step in this process is checking the quality of the calibration, is to check the magnetic field angle, which is the amount of magnetic interference that might be on the boat. We go to settings, network, device list, scroll down to the compass, and go to configure and the field level the local field level is at four to four percent which is more than acceptable um, any reading that exceeds 30 percent is unacceptable and i would suggest repositioning the compass if that's the case